Hey, it's Yolanda at Dryer Buzz and of course 27 Answers. And you already know all your answers are over right now at 27answers.com. So no need to grab a pen or another device to take notes. All the notes are done for you. Just choose one of the ebooks to get started. Okay, so for those of you that have been following 27 Answers for a while now, this is going to sound a little familiar, but as we try to do each and every time, we try to take it to another level. I'm going to break down something we did. Did, uh, or I did as a talk some years ago called PAC, Peers, Audience, Customers, which is basically a flow that you should have going on. And I really want to talk about first to start off with peers because respectably, I think, or respectfully, <laughs> I think that's where um, we get it wrong. And if you get it wrong in the beginning, what comes out in the wash or the outcomes or your results will be skewed because you didn't get it right in the beginning. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back and we're going to talk about your relationship with your peers. And I really want to talk about that because today a lot of our peers or a lot of the association or a lot of the brain trust think tanks that we're in, it has to do with social media. It has to do with groups, organizations, organizations and associations that are more virtual or online than we are actually going out to networking events or joining physical uh, associations in our industries and our cities and our counties and so forth. And so because networking has, you know, it was since social media has taken over everything. I want to talk about really respecting and understanding your relationship with your peers and who your peers are. And I come back to this a lot because a lot of times um, we are now added to a lot of these groups before we even know fully what they're about, what the outcomes and, and, and so forth, or we go to different networkings. And depending on the time of day the networking is, you know, or the industry, so much is just getting lost in this. And, and what we need to understand uh, about two minutes into this is what that relationship really and truly is, okay? And I want to bring it back from that everyone aspect to really getting down to personal, personable, but professional relationships, having a unique collaboration with someone else, okay? That person who you're going to impress upon to refer you when somebody needs what you got. Okay, because you can perfect your elevator pitch and you can get your product and, you know, your assets and all that together. But as we talked about, you know, word of mouth is still really a thing. And word of mouth doesn't necessarily come from or always come from somebody who's partaking in your product or partaking in your business or or your service. Uh, They just like you. And you've impressed them enough that they remember you or you've embedded your messaging in their mindset enough that you come up often when they hear that somebody needs needs what you have. Like say, for instance, whenever I'm in a room with people or around people, and even if somebody just says the word buzz, everybody looks at me. <laughs> and then they look back at that person like, are you about to bite what she does? Because, you know, she's real good at it, you know. And it, it's so funny, but I mean, I, I spent some time on building that reputation with that one word. And I want you guys to be able to do the same. So I want you to really understand about your peer relationship. Because so often, even in the introduction, when we're meeting people and, and introducing ourselves or getting to know them, sometimes one of the ways, let's just go ahead and do the list. One of the ways we get that wrong is not understanding what that relationship is. We're, you know, oftentimes, uh, especially if you go out, you know, people think that a lot of times going to the networking is about selling. It's never about selling at the networking. Okay, it's about what you offer and how you can collaborate with someone else. And we're going to get into it. Let me tell you the what, what PAC means when I say peers audience, customer. So on this one, I'm talking about peers. The next one, I'm going to talk about mastering the audience. And then we're going to talk about extracting the customers. Your peers, these are people who are, and I break it down, P-E-E-R-S, people, 
eagerly, as eagerly as you are, engaged in reaching success, meaning that they've got outcomes too. They've got goals too. When you go to a networking event, I want you to go into that event looking for your goal mate, not your soul mate, because a lot of times, especially in Atlanta, people complain about networking events becoming relationship events and so forth. But I want you to go to that network and looking for your goal mate. Somebody who's not selling what you're selling, or even if they are selling what you're selling, you guys are going to truly collaborate, hey, more power to you. Somebody who's as eagerly as you are, as engaged as you are in reaching success, but you have something to offer them and they have something to offer you. Therefore, you guys can exchange, okay, exchange audiences, giving equal access to your audience, their audience. Those, it's got to be about the exchange. It's got to be about the exchange. Um, peers is not a one-way street. It's a two-way street. And just like with any other relationship, you need to have expectations. You need to put your expectations out there because how many times have you started out trying to collaborate with somebody and then they don't meet your expectations and then y'all are now estranged, right? You know, whether you're mad or anything like that, I'm not getting into that. But then you become estranged and everybody's trying to figure out what happened there because, you know, they were so visible as a collaborative team. Now what's going on? You know, it's like it's at. Okay, so we want to make sure that you're looking for that you're properly looking for your goal mate um, and, and look for that person, because if you go up to them and say, I see what you're doing. First of all, that whole I see you, that's an open door. If ever I see you and I'd like to offer. OK, not I want to ride your train. I'm going to step in your footsteps till I step on your toes and step over you and all that. That ain't that ain't how a peer relationship works. And so many times we mess up that relationship because, you know, how many of us have friends now? It's like, you know, you just did a little relationship thing like, man, if we didn't just stuck to business, we'd, we'd, we'd be further than we are. So think about that when you go out and you're going to associations, organizations, networking events, or joining groups and things like that. Join, the group can have 50,000 members, but uh, only one, two, or no more than five of them might be your goal mate. Learn how to weed and see, dwindle that number down, get into your goal. And the way you do that is you always let your expectations be known. People like try to talk in circles and they want to hide these things until a certain moment or wait for the reveal. No, because that usually a group will ask you, why'd you join the group? I joined the group because my goals are, my expectations are. And then that way you don't end up misleading them or yourself or disappointing yourself with the expectations. Okay. Got to get ready to wrap this up. So over the next three, this is part one. There's going to be a part two and a part three. We're going to talk to on the next one about audiences. And we've got some po- some podcasts out there. Now we talk about audiences, but this is particularly about your pack. I want to help you make your pack strong, your peers, your audience, your customers. So with your peers, remember, start networking with your goal made in mind. What does that goal made look like? You can't sit down and write it down and know what your expectations is and stop trying to just pull things out of the air. You know what you need and you know what you offer. So be specific about it because your specifics become your outcomes. And in those outcomes, those are your results. So listen, from the very beginning with your peers, don't send a representative, be yourself, be your business, be professional and be ready to collaborate. Lead with an offer. So the rest of this, we're going to talk about the next time we're talking about audience. Cause I really want you to get your pack as strong as you can. That's your peers, audience, and customers. We're going to master those three relationships in just three podcasts. Again, no need to take notes. All the notes have been written for you. Just go to 27answers.com, pick one of the eBooks to start, and then this will start to make a whole lot more sense to you as you pull it all together. If you have any questions, you can always inbox me. We do consulting as well. But listen, it all starts when you want more answers. If you want the answers, I've got the answers for you. All you got to do is filter the entire internet, your favorite platform. Put in the hashtag 27 answers.